Hi, Grace. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good How evening, are you? Grace. Good, good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, good. Everything. A, a good day. Everything's fine <laughs> today. And I'm uh, very happy because I finally um, could um, make a, um, a bigger advance. I don't know if that is correct. Uh, I could in the platform. Okay, okay. So you can, you could move forward. You could move forward in okay. the, I, the platform. I, I could move forward in the platform. Yes. Oh, right. good, good, excellent. How far are you in the platform? Um, I finished the section uh, three. Okay. Hey, excellent, section three. Bravo, yes. hey, excellent grades. Good yes. for you, okay. I received a message in the WhatsApp um, yesterday. Uh -huh. Someone of the um, of this course told me uh, that um, I have to um, to finish. I have to finish uh, until section three this week. So I I had to um, move, 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 <laughs> move forward. <laughs> move yeah. forward this week. Uh, so I did it. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm happy you were able to do that, Grace. Okay, excellent. Hi, Josue, how are you? Hello, how are you? I'm doing good, and you? Good, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, almost feeling the weekend. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I work Saturday, that's the only thing, but, but you know. Good it's, evening, sorry. Hi, Roxy, it's okay. Good evening. Uh, how are you, Roxy? I'm late, I'm sorry. I, I was uh, checking some homeworks from my students. Oh, okay. But I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> okay, it's okay, don't worry. No problem, but thank you very much for coming, uh, for being in the class. I was just a little bit worried at the very beginning because uh, it was like, like four minutes or five minutes and there was no one i was like oh no i hope i hope everybody will be able to connect or at least the majority Sorry. yeah but it's okay that's okay great hi daniel how are you hello good evening how are you everybody i'm doing pretty well how about you everything's okay yes everything is okay I'm trying to do the lesson three. <laughs> I just did the number one. <laughs> okay, okay, good. But that's a that's a start, right? If you do number one, well, you're closer to finishing, right? It's yes. Yeah. Okay, Barbara, how are you today? Very well, thank you. Waiting for the weekend. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Me too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you guys, you guys told me that you don't work on the weekend. Uh, <clears throat> one weekend, yes, and the next one, no. Okay. And this weekend, do you have to work? Yes, but uh, there is less work to do. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> Okay, yes, good. I don't I... Hours so, how long will you have to be connecting uh, this this uh, this week? It depends only if there are problems with the systems. So, <laughs> I hope everything can work well. <laughs> yeah, good. But you only have to work on Saturdays or also Sundays both days wow Saturday. yeah it's a little bit heavy huh yes it does okay all right guys um all right so how are you guys uh doing there with the platform i already um have a report there from grace 
Um, and uh, from Josue, no, Josue, no, not yet, right? How, how are you doing, Josue, with, with the platform? Uh, I finished it. All of the platform? Yeah. Hey, good for you. Excellent. Wait, wait a sec. No, no, that's not, that's not right. I have to do it like this. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, hey, good for you. Yeah, Thank excellent. You. Okay, wow. I'm very proud of you, Josue. Did you have any problems with it? No, actually just the section one was the, was the most difficult for me. Yeah. 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 But I know. The rest, the rest, I think, are, are everything most, else is okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay. Excellent. Um, okay. Well, I'm really happy for you. Um, I'm happy you were able to uh, finish it and that you had no problems with it. Excellent. Okay. And you could take a long vacation, Jose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, because uh, we still have about a week left of class, and then yeah. So yeah, you'll you'll have at least about a week and a half of vacation, <laughs> or a little bit more probably. Okay. Good. Excellent. Um, all right, Barbara, how are you doing with the platform? I have some trouble with some questions. Okay. But uh, <clears throat> I'm going to compare with the answers in the chat. Okay, all right, good. All right, guys, um, I just wanted to mention something important about um, about uh, the chat. It, I, I see that you guys are, um, are helping each other out. Uh, somebody says something, the other person answers, et cetera, et cetera. And that's wonderful. I really got, I appreciate you guys um, having that, um, a, that partnership and that's really really important right that you guys support each other and you know that your partner is going to your partners are going to be there for you that you're going to help you and that's very important now i just want to make sure however that when your partner gives you um help and um, shares an answer that you don't just go ahead and type the answer just to get it over with right not just to go in and advance in the platform the idea with this is actually understanding it too, right? Because in the end, what we want to do is to be able to use English, right? Um, in our everyday life. And that includes uh, being able to use these structures and everything. So um, when, when there's something that you don't understand why, like, okay, great. Somebody shares the answer and you can say, oh, okay, yeah, I, I see why this is wrong. Great. But if somebody shares the answer and you are like, why, 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 that? why is that the, the, the answer? I don't get it. Please don't hesitate to ask why. So I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in you guys not just asking for the answer, but, answer, but asking why. I can, I can explain to you guys why. I can help you guys understand it better, whether it's in the chat or in the class. Um, but just just go ahead and ask, you know, I, I didn't understand this. Now, um, I do apologize, however, that uh, sometimes I, I won't be able to get back to you immediately. And it's simply because uh, while I'm at work, I can't be using my cell phone. Um, and until I, I, I get off work is when I'm able to actually uh, write to you guys. So um, I do apologize for that. But Definitely, I will try to help you as much as possible. Okay. Any questions, comments, doubts, concerns, suggestions? No, it's clear. And thank you for your help, teacher. Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. So we're okay? Yeah? Okay. All yeah. right. Um, Nuvia, I, no. Yeah. Nuvia is the new one that just came in. Um, Nuvia, how are you? I am, thank you. Good, thank you. Good, good. Um, I was just asking how you're doing with the platform. Uh, 
I worked in part one and two. Part one and two, okay. Good, excellent. Very good, Nubia. I know that you were at the beginning of the, of the week, you were at pretty much zero. So I really do appreciate that you are advancing that you're um, getting ahead in the uh, in in the different sections, and that's wonderful. Excellent. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I just want to um, I want to share with you guys some information. I know that uh, many of you are either have already passed the section or are working on this section. So I want to share it with you guys. Um, all right, let's see. Okay, let me know when you uh, are able to see my my PPTs. Yes, teacher. Yeah, you can see it now? Yes. Yes. Okay, wonderful. So we are at the Advanced English 2. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's uh, day number 12. It's Thursday, October, oops, sorry, 8th, not 7th, um, 2020. My mistake. Sometimes when I make these PowerPoints the day before, <laughs> I forget to change there. The day, uh, the day, the the date. Okay, so here. Oh, sorry. Before we continue, um, I just want to make sure that you guys understand this vocabulary that we have here. Um, so we have adverbs with simple past and past perfect. Um, so these are adverbs that will help us to determine if we're going to be using the simple past and the past per or the past perfect. Okay, so yesterday we were talking a little bit about the simple past and the past perfect, the difference between the two, which ones we use when we're talking about an experience. Um, so when you're talking about an experience, guys, which one, or you're asking about an experience, which one do we use at the beginning? Simple past or, oh, sorry, present, um, or the present perfect? A mistake, it should say present perfect, not past perfect. Present perfect. Yeah. Okay, yes. Very good. So I'm just going to change that my mistake. Um, let me change. This is present perfect, not the past perfect. Okay, so good. Uh, as we learned yesterday, uh, when we are giving when we're asking about a specific um, experience, we're going to be using the present perfect. Now, when we're going to give more um, information, specific details about it, what do we use? Which one do we use? Simple past? Simple past. Good, exactly. We use the simple past, right? So to give you an example, if you say, for example, um, have you ever, uh, have you ever seen a camel before? And I say, yes, I have. Really? When did you see it? I saw it five years ago. Where were you? Oh, I was in a zoo in uh, Abu Dhabi. I don't know, for example. Okay, so the idea is that when you ask for details and you give details, you're gonna be using the present perfect. Now, some, some ways that you can also determine if which one you're gonna be using are certain vocabulary words that are gonna be useful. Words like, for example, um, that words that tell us, let's see. Okay, so words that tell us um, that ha something happens at a later time. For example, we use words like afterwards, later, 
the next day. So those are very specific uh, words that indicate time. And in that case, because they're very specific, it's easy to determine that we're going to be using the simple past. Okay, remember I told you last time that when we're being very specific time, then we use a simple past. You guys remember that? Yeah? Yes. yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right, so now let's go to the other one. Now, um, now when we're talking about two activities that happen at the same time, Okay, so let me mark that down at the same time. Okay, and this is two activities. Then we're going to be using vocabulary words like when, as soon as, the moment. Okay, and in this case, we're still both structure, sorry, both. Um, both times are also going to be in the simple past. Okay. Okay. So, for example, um, when I got to work, my boss asked me to, uh, to speak, asked to speak to me. So it means that first I got to work. Okay. And then my boss asked to speak to me. Okay. So this happened first, this happened second. Okay, and both of them are going to be in the simple past. Okay, or words like as soon as, the moment, those words indicate a specific time and that there are two actions that happen, but they are actions that happen pretty much at the same time, or like, mm, not, maybe not necessarily at the same time, but one after the other. Okay, one after the other. So I got to work, obviously. Um, I got to work and then my boss asked me to speak to me, but it was immediately after. So it's almost like it happened at the same time. Okay. And then we have um, words, then we have uh, active, uh, words that indicate that we're going to be using the past perfect. So up, um, up until then, before that, until that time. So those those words we're going to be, uh, we know that we're going to be using this structure here. Okay. So this is up until now, I had never lost any, anything important. Before that, I had never um, lost anything important until that time. I never lost anything important. So this one is really not a specific time. This just tells me that um, something happens um, up to a point in the past. Okay. And I have some here examples. Okay. Let's see, we're going to have to erase this, otherwise you're going to get Confused. Jessica. Yes. Okay. Yes, that is better. Yeah. I, oh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, not, I'm definitely <laughs> going to erase it. Don't worry, Ari. I'm not keeping that. Okay. Good. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. So here, um, it, what is, okay. And so in this one, what word tells you what have, a, which structure are you going to be using in the first one? Who can identify the word that will tell me which word, which structure we're going to be using? In the first sentence. After war. Sorry, what was that? After war. After war. Yeah, very good. Ex excellent. That's exactly it. The word afterwards is one of the words that we discussed before. So that tells me that there are going to be two structures. This, um, this is going to be a structure that's going to be using two simple paths, right? And in fact, that's exactly what we're using. 
we used we used um, oops. Okay, over here we have called and over here laughed, right? So both of them are in the simple past, right? Right. Now, what about the second, uh, the second one? Which one um, tells me a, what structure I'm going to be using? The moment. What was that? Could you say a little bit louder? The moment, because it is in simple past. Exactly. In this one, I'm going to be using right here, the moment. Okay, the moment is also another structure, another uh, word that we're going to be using that indicates the simple past. And actually, that's exactly what we have here. We have the simple past, got. Okay. And we also have here, rang. Remember that words like this indicate that there are two actions, right? Afterwards and the moment, they indicate that, the, that there are two actions that happen one after the other. Okay. So that's why we have some two simple paths. Okay, what about over here? What's which words here indicate uh, that um, what structure I'm going to be using? In the last one, before. Okay, good. Before. Not just, ju not just before, before, but that, before, before that. Before that. Before that. And that, that before that indicates that there's another action, right? So there's an action here. And basically, there are two actions, but they do not follow each other. They are different from this one, right? And this, these two, they follow each other immediately after. This one, there are two actions but one happens before the other one um, and they are very far apart, right? So in, the, in this case, what's gonna happen is that the first action, sorry, um, the second action that I'm chronologically speaking is gonna be this one, okay? Let's call, let's say that that is action number two, okay? So chronologically speaking, that's action number two, okay? Now, when it says here before that means that whatever I'm gonna talk about next, that's the first chronological action. Which one is the first chronological action? Who can identify for me? He had, he had only traveled to Florida. Good had traveled, exactly, oops, sorry, that was not, that was not right, I wanted to put, okay, all right, so we had over here, oops, no, 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 erase that, okay, so we have had over here, and traveled over here, right, okay, so we had had traveled, that's the present, that's the past perfect. And that is because this is actually the first action. Teacher, we can hear you. Okay, here we go. Thanks. So this over here indicates that's the pres the past perfect. Okay, Be this is the first chronological action because it says Anne went to Japan last year. Before that, she had only traveled to Florida. That means that first she went to Florida, and then she went to Japan. So chronologically speaking, like I said, this is the first action, and this would be the second action.
Does that make sense for everybody? Any question? Do you guys understand yeah. this or not? Yeah. Yes, but if you uh, can give another example. Sure, absolutely. Okay, well, we'll, do, we'll do something. Um, I'm going to share it in the, in the, whiteboard. Okay, so over here I have my present, okay? Um, I think I actually mentioned this before. Um, I think I mentioned it last week. So um, this is my present. And obviously everything that happens before the present is going to be the past. So let's imagine that... Um, Okay, I have here a, I have here the, a, an action right here. Okay, so this is obviously an action that happens in the past, right? Okay, let's say that um, I'm going to mention that I went, um, Okay, let's say we're just gonna say I went, um, went to the supermarket. Okay, so this is an action that happened in the past. Okay, right here, that action, I went to the supermarket. Okay, now I'm going to also, I'm gonna have another another structure, another event here. Um, let's say that, oops. Let's say that it's, um, okay, after, I've, after I went to the supermarket, let's say that I baked, a cake. And I'm going to add a third. I'm going to add a third, um, um, what's it called? A third event so that it's a little bit clearer even. I'm going to put it over here. Oops, no, I don't want it. I don't want a different color over here. Okay. And we're going to put over here. Um, checked. Let's say that I wanted to make a pie, okay? Let's say I wanted to make a pie and I, I wanted to make a, what, what, what kind of pies do you like? Class, what, what kind of pies do you like? Apple pie. Okay, let's use the apple pie. Okay, so let's say I wanna make an apple pie, okay? And, um, well, to make an apple pie, I obviously have to make sure that I have enough apples. So I went ahead and first I checked my fridge to see if I had enough apples, okay? But I noticed that I only had 
one apple. And obviously I can't make an apple pie with one apple. So I decided that I want, I need to go to the supermarket, right? This, uh, and to buy more, more map, more apples, okay? After I go to the supermarket, I come home and I bake a cake, right? That's the, the logical sequence of the events, right? So far so good? Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody's following me because I hear, I hear Roxy, but I'm not sure about the others. Are you guys following me? Do we have any questions? No, it's okay. It's That's okay? Good. This is good, right? Yeah, okay. All right. Well, to bake a cake, like I said, this is the third chronological um, event, okay? So, it, I could say, um, Okay, let me let me make this a little. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, I'm, I don't I don't want to confuse you. Now. Let me do it the original way I was thinking of doing it. Okay, so when um, I baked baked my cake or my pie, sorry, my pie. I had gone to the supermarket. Okay. Okay. Um, or let me put it easier to say by the time it'll make it easier to understand by the time I had no by the time I no let me leave that by the time I by baked my time, pie mm -hmm. I by the time I baked my pie, pie I had I gone to the supermarket. the supermarket okay so here mm -hmm. we have a sentence I start with this activity, which is the third one, right? Okay, so my this is the third activity. Third activity, bake the cake. That's perfect. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I'm trying to change color. Okay, there it is. Okay, so bake the cake is going to be in the simple past, right? Okay. This is the chronological order, right? I baked the pie, the, the cake. Sorry, whoops, my mistake is not the, over here. It says the cake, it should say the, the, the pie, but just forget about that. It's not a big deal. All right, so imagine it says here, uh, I, so I baked the, my pie and this is the third, the third of the three. And then I mentioned going to the supermarket, but going to the supermarket, when did it happen? Did it happen at the same time? Before or after baking my pie? Before. It before. Before. And it wasn't before, immediately. Yes. And it wasn't immediately before. It was a little bit before because obviously going to the supermarket and baking the cake or the pie, whatever it is, it's gonna take. There's gonna be a difference of time, right? You go to the supermarket, then you bake the the pie or the cake, and it's probably gonna take you what? a minimum of an hour uh, of the difference between these two. So it's not immediately after. In that case, to identify that this action happened before, this is the, before this one, I use what we call the past perfect. Okay, got it? So chronologically speaking, then I am able to identify I'm able to identify that this is, this one was the second action. And this one was the first action. Okay, 
So basically I'm going back in time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying this one was my second chronological action and this was my first chronological action. If you were to say this in Spanish, how would you say it? Um, how would you say by the time? Veronica, how would you say by the time? How would you translate that? Al tiempo que, no, al tiempo que. Mm, kind of, you're getting there. O al mismo tiempo que, que, que dormía mi, mi pan, mm, había ido al supermercado. No podría ser el mismo tiempo. No, no puede ser el mismo tiempo. Ajá. Ajá. Este. Para cuándo. Yeah, very good. That makes sense. Ajá, para cuándo. Okay. So, what would, how would you say this in Spanish, Veronica? Uh, please repeat, teacher. Uh, how would you say this sentence? One of your classmates already told you that by the time we can repeat, we can... Um, we can translate it as para cuando. So how would you say this? Mm -hmm. The whole sentence. Para cuando. Para cuando por miel o algo así como para cuando miel mi pai había ido al supermercado. That's perfect. There you go, Veronica. Very good. Bravo. Excellent. That's exactly it. But para cuando yo hormie mi pie, yo había ido al supermercado. So that means that this action happened second. This action happened before this one. Okay. Let's try another one. Okay. So we're going to go back in time a little bit. So now I'm going to say, why did I why did I go to the supermarket? So you can say, for example. I had gone, no, but it said, I went, but it said, I went to the supermarket because when I checked, sorry, because I had checked my fridge and this, and um and i had uh, discovered that i only had one apple okay one apple for my pie let me put for my pie so that's the reason why I went to the supermarket, okay? So, my pie, not mi pie, okay? <laughs> so be, be careful with that one. Okay, yeah. so um, here we have, I went to the supermarket. Now we're talking about it, this activity, going to the supermarket, okay? And because we're going to the supermarket, then now the going to the super, oops, made a mistake here. Okay, there we go. Now that we're going to the supermarket, um, I'm going to talk about, talk about the uh, going to the supermarket in what tense? In past. Yeah. And what, what is the name of this of this past tense? Simple past. Simple past, good. Whatever happens before this event right here is gonna be used in the, in the past perfect. So what happened before I went to the supermarket? What happened? I checked the fridge. Good, I had checked the fridge. And the moment I checked my fridge, I had also discovered that I had only one apple for my pie, okay? So notice those two actions of checking my fridge and discovering only one apple, it happened before 
go into the sumar bracket. So again, this action here, this action is would be the second action. And this one over here would be my first action, chronologically speaking. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. It's the other way around. Sorry, my mistake. It's the other way around. Chronologically speaking, this is the first action, and the other one was the second action, right? So checking the fridge, discovering that there's only one apple or happens over here, that's the first action. And the second action is going to the supermarket. So does that make sense, guys? Basically, the second action, the second chronological action is going to be used in the simple past. The action that happens before that action is going to be in the present perfect. How do you make the present perfect? We use had plus past participle, right? So we have gone, checked, discovered. Okay. Sounds good, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. Okay, time to practice, guys. Um, I'm going to put you guys into, into uh, breakout rooms. What I need you guys to do is um, I want you to talk about this week. Pretty much this week is almost over, right? We only have one more day of the of, uh, work week, but our class is pretty much over. So this week is the last, this is the third week. What I want you to do now is talk about what um, what things have happened, what what things have happened during the whole week, okay? So if, you, if it helps you, you can write a timeline like the one I just showed you, right? So like I said, it can, you can do it like, like this, right? Okay, and you can write it down if that helps you. If it doesn't, then it's okay. Um, you can do it whatever works for you. But what I want you guys to do is talk about the things that have happened to you during this week. What have you done during this week? Okay, and I want you to um, ask your partner questions. Uh, what had you done before that or things like that, okay? Does that make sense for you? Yes. Yeah, any questions? No? no. Okay, all right, wonderful. In that case, what I need you guys to do is, uh, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're gonna get you in group, well, pairs and one group of um, one group of three. Okay, here we go. Okay, go for it. Join the groups. I can't see I the, the invitation, teacher. Yes, me either. Oh, okay, sorry guys. Okay, let me try this again. Can you see it now? Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, yes. okay, wonderful. I don't know what happened first time, sorry. Barbara, are you having problems joining the 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 breakout room? Barbara, are you having problems? Are 
Are you there, Barbara? Barbara, are you there? Can you hear me? Barbara, ¿le puedo ayudar? ¿Le puedo ayudar con algo? Okay. Barbara, eh, I'm going to go to the, to the breakout rooms to help the other people. Um, if you need any help, I'll be back, coming back in a moment. Oh. Ah, really? Yes. Can I have Where did you go? A la, a la Unión. La Unión. Yeah, sorry. Maybe I, I just got the sentence. Um, in La Unión, uh, which place did you visit? Specifically La Unión. Ah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I understand. And why did you go there this week? Because I had to to evaluate the uh, the agency that we have there. Yes. Ah, okay. And how many days were you there? I had to go about fifteen years. And I have only, I start to go there the last Wednesday. Mm, no, the, the last, no, because the last is on this week. And how the, the Wednesday before at the last. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember okay. that it's, it's important that we ask about activities before that too, right? So before going to La Union, what had happened? What um, had you um, had you been to La Union before? Right. So using the present, the past perfect as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. All right, girls. Continue. Continue like that. I'll come okay. back. Okay. I'll. We'll see each other in the main room in a moment. Okay, okay. teacher. Thank you. Um, let me think in a special situation. Um, in, yeah. Yeah, and let me see. And before Megatech. Ah, Megatech. Okay. Yes. Excellent. It's very interesting. Work in statistics to you. Ah, okay. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hi, Barbara. Hi. How are you today? Very well, thank you. I'm glad you can finally you could finally join Barbara because I know you were having a little bit of problems there, so I'm happy you could join. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. How are, how are you girls doing? Do, do you have any questions? Uh, in this moment, no. Okay. Have you been practicing asking simple past and past perfect? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Any questions? I have a call. No. 
Okay. All right. So I'll see you girls in the in the main room in a moment. Keep on keep on uh, keep on talking, asking questions. Don't worry. Girls, go ahead and, and, and discuss, continue, don't worry. Uh, for like, mo ask questions, continue the conversation, like I'm not here. <laughs> okay. That's well, uh, I stand up for a couple of minutes. I don't know what, what I'm just doing, so sorry. Do you have a dialogue or, or what are you doing right now? Me? Mm. Uh huh. Uh, guess what they what the repeat the ask the the question please. Uh, what are you doing right now? Uh, writing a uh, a dialogue or what? Estoy haciendo ahorita. Ajá, eh, de activity. Ah, de activity. Ah, I, I. The police arrived there. Eh, he asked, he asked, no, they ask us, they ask us uh, about our doc, documents, ID. Yeah. <laughs> about our ID. So eh, the other guy, he had in a license. But I, I told him, hey, what's happening with him if he, if he doesn't uh, his license? So the police, the, the police officer told me, shut up, man, <laughs> because I, I, will, I will give you a ticket because I'm doing my job. So, uh, okay, okay, I told him, okay, that's okay. But I I am watching that, and he has the, the guilty. So I was inside the parking lot to price matter. Proceres, and the they had a, a a big canopy in the main entrance. So we have to look another ways, but. Uh, but uh, he, they, they was very, very, uh, how do you say, angry, hungry, angry, Ang angry, angry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Daniel, just um, I wanted to mention. Hi. Something. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to startle you. <laughs> um, just Hello. no. I was just paying attention there to your story, Good. and didn't want to interrupt, um, but. Just be careful there with um, the auxiliaries that you're using, because I've noticed that you're using uh, auxiliaries, but you're you're sometimes omitting the verbs. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, uh, for example, you said um, he doesn't, and then you continued, but you didn't say, um, it, or sorry, he you didn't say, for example, um, he, um, or for example, you said he hadn't. But it should be he didn't have or he doesn't have okay, okay. because okay. if you say if you say hadn't hadn't becomes an auxiliary mm -hmm. right okay. okay yeah right okay so yes. just be careful with that but that's good excellent okay okay thank you you're Jessica. welcome and also um it's um it would be his he didn't um it wasn't his fault I think you said he, um, he wasn't, he was guilty or something like that. Um, uh, guilty. Uh -huh. But it would be, it wasn't his fault. Ah, ah okay, okay. No fue su culpa. Okay, good, good, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Um, what else, Joshua? <laughs> Your turn, Jessica, has to hear you. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, no kidding. Actually, um, I'm gonna invite you guys back to the main room right now because um, ah. yeah, we're gonna wrap up. Oh, up. sorry. Okay. Okay, okay right. see you. All right, see you okay. tomorrow. See you. So All right, guys, so I have everybody back. How was the session? Good? Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Okay, good, excellent. All right, uh, remember the idea with this is to always uh, go ahead and ask our classmates questions um, about things that happened before the event that they're talking about. So let's say that my friend, my, my uh, partner is telling me about an exam that they had at the university, okay? Then I'm gonna ask them about what happened before the exam. They, for example, had you studied? Had you studied for the exam? Uh, had you gone to the bathroom before the exam, right? Um, it, had you, drunk a lot of water, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So that's that's the idea. And if you, if you think of it that way, it will be easier for you to understand when to use the, the simple past and when to use the past perfect. So every time you're talking about a main event, you're gonna be talking about simple past, right? I had an exam, I took the exam, I failed the exam, and then whatever happened before. Had you, but had you studied? Yes, I had studied a lot, um, but um, I don't know. It, but I had, I, I blanked out in that moment. Um, and also I couldn't concentrate because I had drunk a lot of water and I needed to go to the bathroom that moment. Something like that, okay? So does that make sense? Yeah? Sure. Okay. Any questions you want to ask? No. No? Okay. No question. All right, guys. Um, so this weekend, do you think that we can uh, wrap up there the um, platform for the first and second sec section uh, and uh, possibly start at least start Number three, section number three. Is that possible? At least start it, right? Is that possible, guys? Yeah? And um, yes, sir. if I'm not mistaken, uh, you don't have to do the, the platform in order, right? Uh, you can jump, right? From So if there are certain sections that you're having tr trouble with, uh, you don't have to do them right away, right? Um, you can uh, you can skip that section, so better so not section that that exercise and go to another one, right? Uh, maybe maybe the listening part is easier for you, or maybe the reading part is easier for you. So you can do those first, right? So you don't have to start from uh, you know you know three point one, three point two, three point three. You can go around, right? Whatever is easier for you. The important thing is that you keep. Um, going on, right? That you move forward. That's the important part. Okay. Any questions? No questions. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Are you sure, guys? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. In that case, I will see you Monday. Tomorrow. Ah, okay. Monday. Yeah, Noel. I would love to see you guys tomorrow, but unfortunately, 
No, we can't see each other on uh, tomorrow. So it will have to be for Monday, okay? But um, if you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to work on the platform uh, tomorrow because we don't have class and it, it will be easier for you guys to do it, go ahead, work on the platform, and um, I will be available also to answer any questions. Right at that moment, um, tomorrow I can I can answer any questions uh, in in the evening. Okay, so go ahead, ask me anything you need. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, guys, that was all. Take care. See you Monday. Have a mm -hmm. wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Relax. Um, recharge and en uh, your energy, your batteries for Monday. Okay. Okay. All right. See you guys. See you. See you. See you. Gracias. You're welcome. <laughs>